if you can talk about what is bothering you, that's 90% of it. I think that it, as a way of expressing what's bothering me, uh, that doesn't use words, it's really helpful. Probably not everybody's that way, but uh, that's my experience. It creates a question. Even if the question is, what in the world is that, or why did he take that picture? If that's the question, at least it generates a question. People stumble a lot or have difficulties in life a lot because they can't find a way to express what's really eating at them. I've spent pretty much my whole life uh, in music education in some form or another. I didn't begin working in public education until relatively late in life, so I'm still engaged in that career and plan on doing it a few more years. Uh, but I reached a point in my personal life as a performer, as a musician, I'm a singer, that uh, my singing ability diminished due to the wear and tear of being in the classroom five days a week. Most of the time I try not to invade somebody, I feel like I'm invading somebody else's space, or I don't want people to feel like I'm invading their privacy. Which is why I'm really careful when I'm photographing people. So I've taken street portraits asking permission and I've taken pictures of people in which their identity would not be uh, evident. Either the photograph doesn't show their face or they're far enough away or at an angle that you wouldn't really know who they were if you saw it. But not anything else.
I would say my first experiences uh, had to do with uh, the influence from my maternal grandfather, uh, who was a semi-professional photographer living in the region, so the Indiana area near Chicago. Uh, he was very interested in photographing architecture, and of course in Chicago there's a lot of wonderful architecture to photograph. I have a healthy respect for dogs behind fences. He's a good dog. As long as I can remember, I have lived with depression and I uh, discovered that photography was a helpful tool for uh, helping me to manage that. And it was when I made that discovery that I really began to look at it uh, more seriously and to see that I could do something artistically with it. It's never boring to me to walk down an alley and look for things on the ground. And you know, oftentimes when a person is living with depression, they're looking down a lot. And I think it was a natural way for me to uh, use that, utilize that symptom in a positive manner. And it just sort of happened. I don't really know how it happened, but it did. And then I started seeing things in trash. And then I started looking at it more critically at that point. So this is Community Grounds on Parsons Avenue, and uh, I like to come here always on Sunday morning and sometimes on Saturday. Joel and Tara really created this space from scratch, not so much as a, a commercial venture, although it definitely is, but as a community space where people could connect, where they could reach out to other people and meet other people in the neighborhood. I guess that's why I like it. And there's just great people. It's a good place. Spending time being creative is important to me. And since uh, I'm not actively performing anymore as a singer because I'm not able to, uh, it, was, it has become sort of a natural progression that I focus more of my attention on photography. Uh, so 